doing meditation right before sleep? Yes, yes. No, no. I've heard that mind learns to associate meditation with sleep. And so when doing it at daytime, one will have a hard time not to fall asleep because mind is conditioned. Your stance on it? No, that's certainly not um, the way we look at it. I think they're asking if you if you use meditation if you do meditation right before you go to sleep will you associate it with sleep and then get that. become yeah. sleepy during the day? Yeah, I understand that. It's an interesting. Uh, I mean, sure that I possibly that could happen, but it would mean you're not being mindful, right? Anytime you make that kind of an association, it th there's more going on than it's not passive. You see, you you would have to cultivate the mental inclination to fall asleep, right? What happens when you're mindful is the exact opposite. You um, start to associate lying down with uh, clarity, you know, because you're actually, um, in a sense, fighting, but more like retraining the mind. So normally when you lie down, it's like let your mind go, let it wander until you pass out, right, from just exhaustion, really. Uh, and instead of doing that, we're, we're having a clarity of mind. In fact, people often complain that it's harder to fall asleep when you're mindful. You, you end up just lying there awake, which is cool because you didn't, that means you didn't really need to sleep anyway. Um, but it's a it's a retraining. So it, normally when we lie down, we we enjoy the the pleasure of of the softness of our beds, which is why we have people sleep on the floor. When I started meditating, you know, back in my day, you all have it easy. Back in my day, when I was your age, no, but really, this is a good back in my day story. We really did, um, and we were, we didn't have the worst of it. I've heard worse stories, concrete and so on. But we had nice parquet wooden floor um, with the thinnest of mattresses, lumpy. The mattress was like if you've ever seen these Thai monk mattresses, they're torture devices. They're lumps, and they're it's just two pieces of cloth with some some uh, fiber, you know, uh, cloth in it. Um, and uh, me being bony as all get out, it was uh, really torture. I couldn't lie on a, my side that I could normally do. It was just too painful. So I had to lie on my back, which I never do, which apparently is quite healthy, though. I would lie on my back, and, and I couldn't fall asleep. Um, yeah, maybe that wasn't such a good story. It's not really what I recommend, but uh, th 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 there is a point to it that the um, you end up sleeping just as much as you need and it is a good point because I think back to this other story where I actually um, I was in California and everything was kind of falling apart and I had um, come back from Minnesota I was teaching briefly in Minnesota I came back had no place to stay, and so someone was in inviting me to stay in their house, but there was a woman in the house, so I wasn't comfortable with that. And we got to their house and got out of the car, and I just walked away. Uh, anyway, let's cut to the chase. I ended up sleeping under a picnic table in North Hollywood, a very dangerous part of the city, um, under a picnic table on the concrete, and it was wonderful. It was... I still think of that as one of the best nights of my life because I was totally free. I guess the context is important, you know. Um, up until that point, I had been so trapped, you know. It's like, where am I going to stay? What am I? Where, where am I going to set up? And I, you know, everything was was well, everywhere was a problem. Going here, going there. I guess you're always dependent on people, and 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 you have to, you know, bend to to this and to that. And then I just walked out, walked out, and decided to live on that night on my terms and so I went and slept under a picnic table and it was so wonderful it was freezing cold you know winters in California are not fun 
at night. Um, it gets down to almost zero, I think. Almost freezing, yeah. For you guys it's not zero, but almost freezing in the desert at night, no? And concrete. And so all I had were these nice thick robes. And so I kind of bunched them up in front of me and lay down. I did sitting for a while, and then eventually I just got too tired and I lay down almost face first in the concrete. And I slept. I slept for like three hours. And it was great. It was really... Um, it was a wonderful... Hi, Mom. <laughs> it was a wonderful, uh, wonderful time. And uh, that relates to your question just simply because uh, you don't need that much sleep. If you need to sleep, you'll fall asleep. And that's a part of what we're aiming for. So, um, being mindful will allow you to stay awake. There, there are monks, there was a monk once who said he could do 24 hours of lying meditation. This Burmese monk who claimed to be able to do 12 hours of standing, 12 hours of sitting, and 24 hours of lying meditation. He, he claimed to be able to be mindful for that long which is pretty darn impressive. So the point being that you change your relationship to lying, you know, to lying down. Lying down becomes a mindful exercise, becomes enlightening. One thing for your online meditation group, you'll have to add a, another column. You have sitting meditation, walking meditation. You have to add the lying meditation. I do that sometimes, um, but it's you, you can still consider that sitting meditation. Because when I do lying meditation, I consider it lying as in <laughs> lying to myself that I'm meditating because <laughs> I'm falling asleep. Right. No, but you can't. I mean, it's this big. It's called. It's considered sitting because the same practice. You still do the rising, falling, lying, touching. You know, rising, falling, lying, and so on. Instead of rising, falling, sitting, you do rising, falling, lying. It's. It's. Um, so yeah, do it instead of the sitting meditation. I mean, it's quite useful if sitting meditation is... Well, lying meditation is useful when you're distracted. So if in sitting your mind is still buzzing and you just can't focus, lie down and you'll find yourself able to focus. But it's dangerous. It's easy to fall asleep. The point being, and the answer to your question, is that no, if you're... The key is to be clearly mindful. And when you're mindful, it will actually retrain you um, and, and wean you off of the need to be... Uh, the need to sleep. 